All right, all right, welcome back to another Sakura Succubus 4 video. Now, it has been a bit since I actually recorded, so uh, please bear with me here. Um, but basically, we are back after uh, our little hangout on the beach around that night with uh, AU. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, now, we're going to continue on from where we left off. Let's get right into it. The rest of my vacation passes in a blur of joyous activity. I go on strolls along the beach with Marina, sample more of Afumi's delicious cooking, referee several of Hazel's volleyball matches, splash in some salty surf with Cosmos, and go stargazing with a yell. Before I knew it, the final day of my vacation arrives. It's with some sorrow that I pack away my clothes and then check my room for anything I have missed or might have missed. It would be nice to stay a, a bit longer, but I can't shrink my duties forever. Work is waiting for me back in Tokyo. And my boss, I'm sure he'll have any number of tasks to give me after my week spent away. I've I've had a lot of fun. But now it's time to go home. No good things can last forever. But the memories I've made here will last a lifetime. I take my suitcase in one hand and then meet up with the others in the living room. They're clad in their casual attire, their swimsuits packed away in their own suitcases. Do you have everything, Hideki? Afumi fusses over me when I enter the living room, just as a mother might. Did you check every single drawer before you left? Did you remember to pack away your socks and your underwear? You should be partially careful, or particularly careful about your underwear. If you left a pair behind, you might claim an it in the next time she comes here. I know how crazy she is about you. She loves you and your underwear. <laughs> but she cuddles with it and even sniffs it. I do all sorts of things to it. Considering how I've literally had to see everything going on so far, I wouldn't be surprised that would be the case, Cosmos. Not that I can judge her. <laughs> I would do the same. I'm not surprised knowing you. There's nothing better than my boyfriend's sweat. <laughs> I can't take her seriously, I swear to God. <laughs> hey! Don't pin all your weird, creepy fetishes on me. You might have a thing for sniffing old undies, but I most certainly do not. It's not like Hideki's scent makes me feel all hot or anything. Forgive me for my rudeness, but you're not very good at telling lies, eh, you? If she wasn't, she wouldn't be a you anymore. I suppose you are correct about that. You is quite predictable. But that's what makes her more charming. Who are you calling predictable? Get off me! Don't pat my head like we're friends. The Fumi and Cosmos laughs while Marine sighs. It's awfully early for you to be shouting like that, hey, you Could you knock it off? Oh, sorry, Marina. I suppose my youthful zeal is too much for an old lady for you to handle. How many times have I told you I am not old, still in my prime of my youth, you ingrate? You say that, but I think I can see a few gray hairs already. Even if I do have gray hairs, which I doubt, how will you be able to see them? My hair is already white already. Oh dear, it's worse than I thought. You really are an old woman. Right, that does it. It might be early in the morning, but I'm not going to hold back. You deserve a good smack, young lady. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> the fear in her face shows. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, you away from Marina, her twin tails steaming behind her. 
She dives behind the couch while Marina pursues her, like a shepherd after a startled sheep. Hifumi watches her, amused smile, <laughs> an amused smile to be exact, plays about her lips. Putting that to one side, did you remember to pack your toothbrush, Hideki? You have to shave. What about your wallet and phone? Hifumi continues to fuss over me while I reassures her that yes, I do have everything. Once Marina and AU have tired themselves out, the six of us sit down to eat breakfast. Breakfast consumed and thoroughly enjoyed. We then leave AU's beach house. This will be the last time I see this place. For a while, anyway. I wouldn't be opposed to spending another summer relaxing on this beautiful, unsullied beach or paddling in the Azure waters. But now, it's all coming to a close. I give a used beach house one last lingering look and then set off down the beach, the soles of my shoes sinking into the uneven sand, and the wheels of my suitcase get stuck. It's hard work pulling it along, and the sun is so hot ahead I'm starting to sweat. The salty sea breeze tussles my hair, and the hem of my shirt flutters. The waves break against the shore churning themselves into white foam and ahead the gulls cry. Perhaps I feel sentimental, but it almost sounds like they're wishing us goodbye. Hey Hideki, stop! Before you continue on with the video, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. Are you struggling with sleeping? Are you struggling with dehydration? Are you struggling with having energy in the morning, day and night when it comes to gaming? I got a solution for y'all. Head on over to Poggers. This is going to be one of the few drinks that they actually released and it's actually really, 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 really cool. Um, they even released their new flavor last month, which is Rocket Pop. Make sure to go ahead and check them out. Link in the description down below. Use creator code ZM for 10% off your order. Enjoy the video, everybody. Cosmos appears at my side. She tugs on my unoccupied hand and looks at me. Her eyes winsome in the summer sunlight. I pause and then offer a smile. Hey, Cosmos, what's up? I was just wondering if, uh, do you want to take a selfie? I thought it might be nice to commemorate this holiday. It'll be a good time together. We had a good time together after all. I'd like it if I could always remember the summer. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Hazel, who has pretty sharp ears, must have overheard because she saddled up to us. Grinning, she says, can you take a picture of me too? I want in, I want in. Are you taking photos? That sounds like a wonderful idea. I would love to have a memento to remember this summer by. I could get it professionally printed and framed so I can look upon it whenever I feel stressed. I had such fun with you, my dear Hideki, but this holiday would not have been half as fun without the rest of my dear sisters. I do so enjoy pampering you. <laughs> If we're taking photos, I'll be in the frame too. Probably in the middle. Remember, if it weren't for me, this holiday would have never happened. This is my private beach we are staying on, and this is my beach house that we're sleeping in. That's right! You're the real MVP of the holiday AU. Your kindness is more appreciated. You can be mean sometimes, but you are a nice person deep down. You're just awkward, like me. Uh, that's why you're my best friend, AU. Nothing gives me like you. Hey, don't give me that. Not like at all, you hear? I'm far prettier, smarter, and lovelier, talented. And look at this. A brilliant way to end this brilliant story off. Brilliant stuff, y'all. Brilliant stuff. Okay, get in, everybody. I'm gonna take it. Whoa, hey, you guys! You're pushing me out of the frame! Kurt, my clothes are getting all rippled. You'll have a great deal with it as best as you can, AU. There, there. Don't pat my head, I'm not a puppy. I like it when me pats my head. You might, but I don't. We are not at all alike. Now everyone smile. Say cheese. Cosmos, reach out 
her tongue poking out in concentration and then taps the circular button of her touch screen. The camera flashes as she takes one photo, then another, then another. I smile, all the wind, the scent of the salt in my nostril, my hair rumpled by the breeze. It is a bit of a tight squeeze, but I don't mind it. <laughs> Look at this man in the fucking background. Yeah, I'm not even surprised. Like, <laughs> and then you got a fucking food. Literally, you got Hazel over here acting like a goddamn G. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> She's so stupid. I'm with five m women I love more than anything, and I couldn't be happier. Stop patting my head for me. I'm just trying to calm you down, dear. There, there. You think I should flex my muscles? I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> the wind is blowing my hair into my ears. Please hurry with these silly photos, Cosmos. Just a few more. I want to get one more with cuddling up with Hideki. Hey, no fair! I want to cuddle with Hideki too. Cosmos, you sneaky wench. <laughs> I want to cuddle with them too. You girls are all so childish. But I would not be at all opposed to the idea myself. I do love lavishing my dear Hideki in affection. <laughs> As do I. I love pampering my dear hit husband. I thought she said Hideki. Ignore me, please. H husband? Since when did that happen? It's all right, you. Don't get mad. We're not actually getting married. <sighs> That's just Fumi's pet name for me. Indeed, it's true. We're not married yet, but uh, that can be soon. <laughs> uh, Hideki and I did discuss only a few days prior the possibilities of my meeting with his parents. He said they would be fa very fond of me. I cannot wait to meet my father and mother in law, though. Wow, you are so sweet and unassuming, but uh, that's pretty pushy. Hey, feel me? I didn't know you'd gotten that far. Maybe I need to ramp up my ramp up our relationship, too. I won't lose to you! Hideki is my boyfriend. I want to meet his parents first. As if his parents would be happy to meet a weirdo like you. They'd be far, far more impressed with me. I have so many accomplishments to my name. After all, and I'm incredibly wealthy. I've already claimed the hearts of Japan's public. Now I'm going to claim the hearts of Hideki's parents too. I'd be the best daughter in law there ever is. I somehow doubt that your shrill voice would in all unlikelihood, send them running for the hills. What was that, Marina? Oh my, did you not hear what I said? Perhaps you need to get your ears cleaned out. You aren't as young as you once were. After all, old age spares nobody, not even the top idols. You bitch, I'll get you for that. Now, now, let's all try to calm down. Whoa, AU, AU really is going after Marina. And you're still taking photos, Cosmos? Of course I am. These are candidate shots. I still sell very well for the black market. <laughs> I'm sure you fans will be very interested in these. Hey, cut that out! I don't want your leaking these photos to the public. I have an image to maintain. Perhaps you should have thought of that when you decided to attack me like a wildcat? My entourage are at one another's throats as per usual, but I don't mind it. In fact, I've begun to enjoy it. There's never a dull moment when they're around. <laughs> I start to laugh. I can't help myself. I laugh with abandon until tears just start to prickle in the corner of my eyes. I have no idea what future holds, but one thing is certain. Though they sometimes annoy me, I love these succubi dearly. They're, they've turned my dull life upside down for good, and I wouldn't have any have it any other way. And that is the end of Sakura Succubus 4, everybody. <sighs> if you guys want me to literally release this more, leave a like on this video. I really appreciate y'all if you want me to continue the rest of the series. So, uh, yeah. It's been Zed, guys. Later. Bye.